I want to welcome everyone to the Google Hangout Challenge for Crafting for the Emmys. We're having <clears throat> tons of awesome people here today. We have people from Walnut Hollow, Ice Resin, I believe we have Jess James Beebs here with us as well. And we are going to start by introducing ourselves. My name's Tanner Bell. I'm a DIY crafting expert that I blog at a little craft in your day .com, And we focus on teen crafts. We have um, other designers here and mixed media designers. I've noticed that there's a large group of us that focus in different demographics, so I'm excited and I think I'll let who would like to go next. Joe, would you like to start? Sure. Hi, I'm Joe Mama. I'm a mixed media artist and I'm with the Ice Resin Design team and I live in South Florida. Oh wow, is that, it's warm there? Very warm. Very warm. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm looking forward to this hangout today. Awesome. So what do you like to do? What's your favorite um, medium? Jewelry. I love jewelry. Metal, resin I, has become very near and dear to me. I work a lot with found objects, twigs, branches, rusty bottle caps. That's anything, awesome. Anything cool I can get my hands on. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, how about we go to Norma? Hi guys, thanks for having me. So I'm Norma Rapko. I'm an author, designer, inventor of Crystyler. It's a brand new um, crafting tool that I invented and it's been five short years to market. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of like the running joke over here. But it's, um, it's a tool that allows you to pick up and dispense crystals fairly fast and easy and you can apply them to any surface using whatever adhesive you, you like that works best on your projects. Um, I like to call myself a mixed media artist just because I work with everything. I make everything from jewelry to I work on wood, I design picture frames, pet products, jewelry, sort of like I'm all over the board. So I just kind of categorize myself as a mixed media artist and that kind of just tells you what I do. So the one question I'm going to ask is where did the idea come from for the awesome tool? You what? Where did the idea come from for this tool? Okay, so the idea for that tool came from, I originally started my career as a picture frame designer, and we were manufacturing and making picture frames in-house, and we were doing all the artwork ourselves. So I'm a sparkly girl. I love sparkle. I love to bring sparkle to the world. I think everybody needs a little sparkle in their life. So I was gluing crystals onto all of our products, and people loved it, you know, and add that little extra something to everything. So... While I was in this little studio here, standing in this very same spot, um, making a sign for a trade show and adding all this crystal to it, my husband looked at me and said, you're crazy. We leave at 2 in the morning for this trade show, and you're never going to finish that sign. And it was like midnight. And I said, oh, no, I'm really fast. You know, I can totally get this done, and I'm on it. So I said to him, he said, there's got to be a better way. And I said, well, there isn't. I said, but I have this idea. And he looked at me and he goes, oh, that's totally doable. And that's when the idea was born. And we started kind of just throwing the idea back and forth. First, just kind of jokingly and kidding about it. And then it sort of started to become a real solution to a real problem. So that's how we came up with the idea and then started working on it. And we engineered it together. And, and here we are, and we just launched in um, over over 1,100 Michael's Craft Stores nationwide in Canada. So super wow, excited. congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much yeah. for sharing it yeah. yes. with us. I'm sure everybody, I mean, I was very intrigued with this. I'm sure everybody else was too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, that just goes to show you that when you have an idea and you take action on it, that it, it's possible. Anything's possible. Well, thank you so much. And Jennifer, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, hey everybody, I'm Jennifer Priest. Um, I'm the social media coordinator for Ice Resin and I also do some consulting work with Norma. Um, and I'm a crafter, sort of mixed media artist, but I really do social media and I have a YouTube channel on youtube.com backslash hydrangeahippo where I do all kinds of tutorials and it's going to be a lot of fun today. Awesome. Jen Cushman, I would love to hear about ice resin because I'm loving my ice resin and I'd love to hear your all's backstory. 
That's great. So, hey, everybody. I'm Jen Cushman. I am the Veep or CEO. I don't know. We haven't figured out what to call me. But anyway, um, I'm like second in command at Ice Resin and um, one of the partners. And Ice Resin is owned by Susan Leonard Kasmer and myself. And Susan actually created the product. So Ice Resin is her signature product that she developed and she created. And um, I came on in 2008 to help her with a marketing. I have a marketing background. And so I came on to help her um, just spread the word and share the love of Ice Resin. I think my, is my sound a little loud, you guys? I, I just fixed it. Did you? OK. Yeah. So sorry about that. It sounds like I've got feedback going on. So anyway, um, so that's what that is. I'm actually a mixed media artist. I started out doing paper crafting. I started out scrapbooking when my son was born in 1999 and uh, quickly jumped into mixed media and um, do all kinds of crazy things. So I really, I've been doing a lot of jewelry. I've written two jewelry books, but I really consider myself a mixed media artist. And then also, in addition to publishing and doing all the other things I do, I run our sales, marketing, and education for Ice Resin. So I'm sure Ice Resin going to the Emmys is a really awesome it's, it's amazing. Do you know Susan, so Susan, um, uh, when she started over 25 years ago, she had a company called Leonard Collection, and she actually made found object jewelry that was in Nordstrom's and Barney's and all these high-end stores. And so she actually had celebrity clientele in her 20s when she started when she started Leonard Collection. So in a way, it's fun because it's completely full circle. But instead of it being just her art, it's now her art and our products. So. So, you know, we've been kind of in this realm for, not me, but she's been in this realm for a while. So the Emmys is awesome. And the team has been amazing. And the other manufacturers that are doing it, like Norma and Walnut Hollow and Jesse James Beads and, uh, you know, Spellbinders and Beadalon and all of them, this is just an amazing opportunity. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I love hearing backstories and everything like this. So sure. who would like to go next? Who hasn't? We have one. Do we have Sarah uh, James? I, I I think you're. I, I can't hear you. Let me check the settings. Okay. Uh, there you go. We can't hear you, Sarah. Are is your volume muted? Check your microphone. No, we can't. We can't hear you, Sarah. Let's see. Yeah, we we still can't hear you, Sarah. Um, I will pull you aside to work on some stuff. So let's keep going, Tanner. And then when we get this fixed, we'll we'll uh, pull Sarah back on to do her intro. Sounds good. So now, how about we talk about all the awesome products that we got from these companies? Because I'm so excited. I, when I got these at my door, I was just really excited with the ice resin and everything. Is, is Sarah here? No, not yet. Okay, it popped her up to a bigger uh, size. Anyway, how about we start off talking about the ice resin that everyone received? This is the actual ice resin, and um. Jen, would you like to talk about ice resin and talk about all the formula and maybe some backstory? Sure. Um, so ice resin is um, it is a jeweler's grade resin, and that's really really important. And it extinguishes it distinguishes itself from some of the other resins out there because it is jeweler's grade, which means that it will never yellow, it'll never fade. It is like glass, and when you mix it and pour it, what you have, it will be forever heritage jewelry. So that's important because if you're going to go to all this trouble to make your creative um, work and to collage and do all these things, you really need to make sure that it's something that is going to last forever. Yeah. And that's that's really the difference in the key. So ice resin began really, like I said, Susan's a, a mixed media artist and went to the Chicago Art Institute 
was working with other residents about 15 years ago, and they were a little bit too toxic. She had kids at home, and they, they she really wanted to come up with a, a, a more non-toxic wind cured formula. So that's what she did in Developed Ice Resin. And people like Joe, who are professional artists who sell their work, spend their time toiling away in her studio at her bench, making stuff, amazing things to go out. She has to have a product that's going to work clear, last, and make sure it doesn't come back for repair. Because as a jeweler, you don't ever want your work to come back to you. So that's, that's ice resin. And the thing about ice resin, it is truly a magical medium. Because anything that you can think to do with ice resin, I guarantee you, it will do it. So when I'm teaching my classes, the light bulb will go off. And people will be like, can I? And I'm like, yes. So I don't even, I mean, I don't even wait for the question. So that's, that's awesome. So Joe's on your all's design team. I would love to hear some, you know, different things that you use with your ice resin. Um, sure. Hi. Um, well, I've been on the mixed media team, so I've been making things other than jewelry. It's actually been a challenge. Um, I've been coating pods out of palm trees in my yard and creating bowls more uh, home decor out of it and it's been really cool. It's kind of uh, opened up my eyes to other options for it which has been great. Um, I mean pretty much anything, branches and eggs. I even mixed resin with leftover fibers. I'm an environmental artist so I try to save and reuse everything mm -hmm. and I mixed the resin with all the fibers. I covered a bowl with saran wrap and laid it all on top of there and after it cured I had a fiber bowl so there's really so many options with ice resin it's great. Wow thank you I mean I, I loved working with it for what I've already worked with it and I just love it so let's move on to Norma and her in um... Hey guys! Um, is it Walnut? Oh yay! Yeah are we good? Okay we're good we're good! We're good. Yay. So you can introduce okay. yourself we'll take a moment and inter you. introduce you. Alright hi guys sorry about that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I'm Sarah James from Jesse James Beads, and we do um, bead mixes and mixed bead strands. Um, our products are sold in Joanne stores and AC Moore, and also bead shops. And um, we have a retail presence online. And just recently, we've been getting more involved with social media, doing the Facebook thing and Twitter. I have a blog and do jewelry tutorials. And I'm kind of new at the game, but this is a family business, and um, I feel like it's almost in my blood. Though I haven't been creating jewelry for a little, for a really long time, um, it feels very natural. And um, I was always very artistic growing up, and it feels really good to be having a a, um, a stronger presence within the company now, and being able to really get my hands dirty with beads. And this resin is really cool, and just I love sparkly things. So. Um, feels very natural and fun and being able to share our products with um, such an amazing community of artists and um, jewelry designers it's just something very special when I hear that our products inspire somebody it's just the best compliment that I could ever have so it's cool to be able to go out to LA and um, be involved with all of you very bright and creative um, women and men and um, I don't know share what we have with these celebrities and expand the community a little bit more. I'm sure you all are super excited and I'm super excited for you all and I'm sure it'll go great. So you're outside right now so where are you located? I am. I am in South Florida like Joe. Um, we're both from Fort Lauderdale. Well I'm not from Fort Lauderdale but I live here now and it is sunny and beautiful indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to talk about a little bit more about um, Jesse James Beads? Absolutely. Um, our shtick is uh, bead mixes and mixed bead strands in color coordinated sets. We sell um, a larger size mix with like some large size beads and then to coordinate with that we do a smaller set with like side beads and um, then those will also have two strands like seven inches of beads that people can either create right into a bracelet if they'd like or they can break it down and make a pair of earrings and then a centerpiece for a necklace or what have you, but really what we promote is um, color coordination and it's almost like a, an education system for people that maybe don't know what to put with each other and then sort of a jumping off point of inspiration for, uh, for others that maybe are a little bit more advanced. 
Oh, cool. That's one of the things I have problems with when I'm crafting. I, you know, the color coordination. I'm not like spot on with colors, so I think that's really good. If when I'm ever wanting to make jewelry for someone like my mom or my grandparent or my, you know, someone like that. So I think that's really awesome, and I'll Thank you. think that's awesome. Cool. So I'm excited, and let's talk with Norma about her Chrysler. Uh, the packaging is open, but I'll let you take it away. Okay, so it's um, it's the Crystyler by Norma Rapco, and we partnered with Walmart Hollow, which you know, if you guys all are familiar with them in the craft industry, they are um, they're a manufacturer of high quality wood, and they've been around for forty years, and they're a family owned company, and they've been extraordinary to work with, and so um, you know, they they were obviously a big part in helping bring this product to market, but. You know, during the process of developing the product, I really wanted it to be um, consumer friendly and easy to use for the consumer. So, you know, we also realized that there was um, this sort of need in the marketplace, if you will, for um, for a more affordable uh, crystal, like a glass cut crystal. You know that. Um, that your average teenager or your you know soccer mom or it, you know that somebody could afford but yet it would still be worthwhile embellishing something with it that you that you know you could take some pride in into your work so that was important to me so we ended up finding a really great um, crystal that we're super happy with and it looks awesome and I've been creating I've been busy creating all kinds of little different projects with it um, Everything from embellishing shoes to making jewelry, um, and then you know my famous. Um, so I'm gonna grab this, but one of my famous picture frames that we're. I still went back to my roots with wood because I just love working with, with different textures and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun, just you know, creating the whole process of creating a product and and bringing it to market, and then seeing that um, you know it's having a really great reception at market, and people are excited about it, and. It's actually, um, you know, with uh, the Emmy opportunity, we're super excited about it. You know, this this kind of opens doors for us. Um, I live in Los Angeles, and I'm around a lot of, um, I live around a lot of celebrities, Emmy winners. My neighbor up the street has won two Emmys, and, um, you know, I myself have been invited to numerous different events and stuff. So it's exciting to be, you know, on the other side of it, to be there representing your product, your par your partner companies, and um, bringing people into your creative community because I really believe that we're all creative. Everybody crafts in some way, shape, or form at some point. And it's important for us to keep educating people and innovating in our industry. So I'm excited to be here with all of you guys. And this has been, I have to say, it has been an extraordinary um, community of, of artists and just extremely talented people who have really, like, wrapped their arms around us and said, hey, you guys can do this. This is really great. And um, like you said, Tenor, you've seen us all over social media. And, and part of that is because we have such a wonderful support of, of people who believe in us and who love our products, who you know are cheering us on, and that, that's one of the things that I love about this industry in particular, is that you know we are for each other and we work to in empower each other and inspire each other, um, as opposed to working against each other. You know, and, and it really makes it wonderful to be a part of the crafting community. I love it. That's Absolutely. awesome. And for everyone at home, real quick, if you want to uh, follow the Emmys and follow everything, use the hashtag crafting the Emmys, and you can totally see that on like all the social media platforms. Yay, crafting the Emmys! Yeah, <laughs> and I believe really, we just had a there, someone I love the hashtag. <laughs> I think that's awesome. And you can also use the hashtag CHA swag and ice resin. So all those you'll be finding all kinds of cool stuff during all the weeks ahead to the Emmys. We have an awesome giveaway coming up today. And I think we have one of the ice resin design team members that have joined us. So is Sandy here? Oh, I think Sandy just got booted off. Oh, no, let's oh. There's Sandy. Nope. Hi, yeah. Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sandy. You, you guys, guys see me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little about you? Sure. My name's Sandy um, Martin. 
I've been a mixed media artist for about 22 years. I've been making jewelry for about 20. Um, and I've been using ice resin for about the last six years. I was fortunate enough to be on the ice resin design team this year and loving it. So there you go. Awesome. Um, we actually have some ice resin products that I want to talk to the design team about <clears throat> and hear what the, you know what they've been creating with it. The ice resin has bezels. They have the actual ice resin, but then they have different bezels, and they also have these little gems, which are right about here and they come in different colors so I would love to hear what you all think about these and like what you've been working with them with and different things like that so would you like to start Sandy? Sure yeah the the mica flakes are fantastic because when they're mixed with the ice resin they just add a little bit of glint and bling and so they're they're really cool because they have that translucency but still give it a little blingy quality. So they're really fun to mix in with the ice resin. Yeah, and they're fantastic for using in these little the shakers, taking the bezel and covering it with ice resin powder and using it as an inclusion. They're really pretty and they just, you know, the light plays off of them because the, the mic has a natural stone. So, it's awesome. So, have you crafted yeah. anything with these? Are there any projects that come to mind that you really, you know, just is like wow? I think the shakers, the little bezel shakers, are my favorite. I'm not at home in my studio, so I don't have anything with me. But oh. Jen just held one up, and I one. I'll look, Sandy. Okay. Yeah. They're fantastic for taking the bezel and then you put the little mica inclusions in and you can add a little bit of glitter and then put some ice resin paper over the top. There we go. I love yeah. it. And so Jen's got one up. And, you know, they play with the light and, yeah, very cool. Yeah, I recognize that. This is your work, Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Very cool. That's we awesome. had to pull them out. They're a little. The thing about the paper, you guys, when you put them on, it's a little delicate for transport. So I pull them out. I'm not taking your shakers to the Emmy, love. I'm going to turn them into. A, we're going to do other giveaways or something with them because they're so amazing. But um, they're just a little. They're they're wonderful. You can wear them and they're great. But in terms of like getting handled, like with all the stuff we've got going on, they're a little bit too fragile. But this is Sandy's work and they're amazing. Oh, beautiful. I was concerned about them transporting. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's awesome. And if you want to, uh, how about Jesse? Okay, so we've already, we talked about the beads and we've talked about the crystaller and we've talked about ice resin so now if we want to get started each artist will be showing what they're working on for this Google Hangout challenge and we will see this go through for the next about we have about 30 about 20 minutes to work on the, the your pro projects and ever have everyone tell them about it so who is actually already sort of working on something Jennifer do you have something working on I'm working on something too oh you're working on something too yeah I am I didn't think I was going to but I was able to pull it because I got the amazing Chris Styler in front of me and I'm you're using so it for the first time and I am Norma, I love this. You oh. have engineered the most brilliant tool. It is simple. It requires no electricity. It works beautifully. It is finely engineered. I am so proud of you, girlfriend. I am oh. going to be crystallizing everything. I stay away from I stay away from it because it is so difficult to hand set and a pave crystal set things that I'm just like I don't know what the work, but I'm like, I'm going to be blinging everything right now, girl. I'm I'm insanely excited. Oh, so, well, thank you so much, so Jen. here's what thank I did. So I love one, that. Here's one of our hobnail hearts that I have. And Beautiful. And all of it here is, this is, our, this is our mica. So this is our raspberry tattered mica, shattered mica. 
And this is our file, fire opal mica, which is holographic. So when you put it in the resin, it just, I mean, it just pops like you wouldn't believe. And then I'm taking the amazing Crystyler, and I am just simply picking up, I don't have a camera here, but it's so simple because you pop down the crystal at this little end, and then you put it right on, and it like releases with one click of a button, and it pops it right perfectly. I mean, seriously. I don't know if I have the patience to do an entire pair of shoes, <laughs> shoes uh, Norma, but I'm so excited. So ice resin and the Crystyler are an amazing thing, and I can't wait to stick Jesse James' amazing color combination on here because I'm telling you, girls, the three of us together, we have got a, a brilliant thing going on. So. It's a match made in heaven. It is. Um, I'm not kidding you. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm like, I wish we could just have a big giant Emmy's tent, just the three of us, and they could just yeah. sit there and make one of these because it's so brilliant. Yeah. And uh, Sue is actually asking, does Walnut Hollow and Jesse James have Twitter accounts? And if they do, uh, could we put them in the chat box? I'm not, I don't think. Walnut Hollow has a Twitter account. I think they're supposed to get one before the Emmys. I know. Shame, shame, shame. But we can check. We can check at Walnut, you know, at Walnut Hollow. Just just in case. Maybe they got it up and I'm not, I, you know. But I know they have a Facebook. So they've been doing that. And um, so I'm crafting today, you guys. And um, I'm also going to make something fun. I wanted to, I know that we're going to have a lot of great, great, great memories together at the Emmys. So I got the ice resin. I Jen sent me her beautiful giant heart, and I love it. And and I got the resin, and I'm gonna start playing with that today. And I love all the different little papers that they sent me. Also, they're great, great prints, and they're phenomenal. So because I make so much jewelry, I decided to go with a little bit something different, and kind of also incorporate the wood from Walnut Hollow. And Walnut Hollow, you guys, has these amazing, like, 16 by 16 um, wood books that they, that they um, sell at Michael's. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the resin, the papers, the heart, and I'm going to be adding some other paint and stuff and the Crystyler. And I'm going to make an amazing scrapbook to keep all of our um, Emmys memories in it. And I might even bring it with me to the Emmys and have everybody have a page and just get fun. Wow. And oh, uh, you are getting creative today. That's a really good idea. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm also, um, and here's a question for Jen. Jen, can I use the resin on your, on like overlaying the cover of parts of the book on the wood? Yeah, I can. You can sure. use resin on any surface. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So, you know, it's uh, silicone is the only thing it really doesn't stick to, which is what we okay. use for our mold. So, like, okay. you know, people have tried to, um, you know, the this is the only thing that I found that we don't, that we're not able to do is that, you know, to put it on, a, a, like, if, if you were to do the cell phone right. case or something or silicone, because that's how we cast our resin is we have silicone molds. But, oh, my gosh, metal, glass, wood, paper, you know, there's really canvas. There's not a substrate. There's not a substrate around that this doesn't go on. Awesome. So wait till you see. You guys are going to have to obviously wait till later because my project's going to take a little bit longer. But I'll be posting pics on Facebook and tag you guys and show yeah. you the finished product. We'll have to promote them and all the ways to the Emmys. You know, you'll be looking at them using the hashtag crafting the Emmys and CHA swag. So all everyone watching, make sure to look at those hashtags and you'll see all these amazing companies and everything going on at the Emmys that you would probably not get to see if, you know, it wasn't connected with these hashtags. So make sure you're checking out these hashtags, guys. Awesome. So, Sarah James, how are you coming? Do you have anything you're working on outdoors yeah, today? Yeah, I do. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I've always been intrigued by resin, but it's, an, it's definitely a medium that I don't have much experience with. So when I got my ice resin kit the other day, just yesterday, um, I busted it open and started messing around with some things. And I have some really awesome shells that I've collected from back up north in New Jersey, where I'm originally from, and then also from down here. So I started, um, I cut out some pieces of colored paper and kind of inlaid them into the shell and then took some of our really sparkly, pretty glass beads, and um, I don't know if you can really see it, and kind of laid those in there also, and it dried overnight, and it's been looking really cool. So today kind of expanding on that and using smaller ear or um, smaller shells with that of you know the holes poked in them from 
birds eating clams or whatever is living in there. And uh, I'm making little earrings with the same, with cut-out paper and some um, beads and also using some of Norma's crystals in there, too. They really pick up the light nicely. That's awesome. Now, I have a question for Jen, because while you're talking about shells and everything, I just started thinking of sand. Could you mix some sand, like maybe put it at the bottom and put resin over it, or maybe mix it with the resin or something like oh, that? No, to get like it, a it, yeah, it's perfect, Tanner. I did. I taught a class for Charity Beans. Um, I know you know Charity Wings and Elena and, um, in, in Southern California there. Elena is a really good friend of mine. I love her, and she's great. So I did a thing for Charity Wings because, you know, you go to Southern Cal, you got to do a beach theme. There's no doubt about it. So, yeah, I collected sand. I brought it back to Arizona, and then I put sand in one of our hobnail bezels, and then I added shells that I collected from the beach, and I also added little baby um, uh, uh, sea, sea stars that I had in there, and then you put the resin on top. So anything organic can work a nice resin, and that's one of the things that's different. Jewelers grade resin, you can do that too, and so other craft resins, what happens is that the chemical um, composition of the two-part epoxy will get hot. So like you'll mix up some other things, it's thermogenic, and it'll get hot and it will burn up organics, like you'll burn up dried leaves and burn up things. But ice resin doesn't have that property, that's why we have a slow cure time. And you can put anything organic in there, so butterfly wings, I mean, um, yeah, push, you know, uh, dandelion pieces, seeds, shells, anything really can go in the resin. So what's great is, like, if you find, say, a, a four-year-old, I'm thinking a kid crafts and different things, and a four-year-old finds their first four-leaf clover, to really capture that moment, yep. you can put it and make it a resin, and they can maybe make it a necklace or, you know, something really fun like that. Put well, it in a mold. You. Let me tell you what I would love for you to do, Tanner, and post on your site if you could. Uh -huh. You can take a craft mat, you know what I mean, and put it down. You can put that little four-leaf clover down, and then you can just squeeze a little bit of resin on top of that four-leaf clover, and you can make your own um, little epoxy stickers and buttons, and then you can add them to scrapbooking pages and stuff. So it doesn't have to be jewelry. It can be paper arts and scrapbooking and other things. So I would amazing. love for you to be making some ice resin stickers for the teens because it's pretty cool. We could do that, and if it was thin enough, maybe we could run it to like a Xyron or something to make it a Absolutely. sticker. Absolutely. Yeah. You can take the resin paper after it's been resin and run it through any die cut machine. You can put it through a Spellbinders machine. You can die cut it. You can even put it through a Cricut. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Wow. It, it has to be dry, okay? Yeah. No wet resin through the Cricut. Okay. okay. <laughs> Joe, what are you working on? I would love to hear. Are you there, Joe? Joe? Oh, I can't see her. Hold on. I can... All right, try to talk, Joe. Okay. Can you... Oh, no. Try again. No. Wait. No. Wait. No. Ah! <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. All right. It keeps it keeps muting me on me. I'm back. <laughs> um, I'm working on one of the hobnail bezels and um, layering paper. Let me see if I can angle you a little bit. And um, I'm going to use some of the mica flakes in my piece. So it can later on be a pendant, or you could use it um, as part of a belt, as one of the links in a belt. Can I, hey, Tanner. Yeah. Can I say something about our hobnail bezels that we of have? Of course. Okay, so this is another hobnail. This is one that's just got buttons in it. It's real simple. So, but we have them in all shapes. So they're, I mean, we keep showing the hearts because everything, everybody loves the hearts. But, um, so we have them in all shapes. But I just want you to know, too, that this hobnail style was created by Susan. So they're kind of, um, the hobnail style is kind of Susan's signature look. And, you know, she makes these, and they're pretty amazing. And, um, and we've got them in all shapes and sizes. And then we use the ice resin in them. So if you see this hobnail, it's kind of signature Susan Leonard Kasmer. But we created our bezels. Um, 
you know, we create our bezels truly to be little canvases that are frames of art for your art. So it's really not about us. It's whatever you guys do to them and how you add to them. But I just want you to know that the hobnails are like, they're just kind of everywhere, okay? That's awesome. <laughs> I, I love the style. I actually have one. It's laying, it's, it's laying right here. I have one right here. Yay! I'm going to fill it in with some stuff. and I'm, I think I'm actually going to be crafting with, I love doing like, re, like reusing things. And I have paint chips. And I wanted to fill some ice resin and little micas with a paint chip. So that's what I'm working on right now while we are interviewing and chatting away. So I'm excited, but I'm sure after it dries and everything, I'll be sharing them using the hashtags Crafting the Emmys and CHA Swag. So make sure to check those out. And uh, who, Jennifer, I see you crafting away. What are you doing? So I'm. Um I have this bezel. I I poured part of it earlier with the um, the oh what is it called that tattered mica, but it's that crazy iridescent one. I'm I just totally lost my whole train of thought. Let me see. I have it in a drawer over here. Let me grab it. Okay, so it's this one, the shattered fire opal. So I poured one layer of resin with that. And then I got these like graphic 45 little papers and I sealed them with the um, paper sealer from Ice Resin, Susan Leonard Casmer. And that's so that I don't get like a shadowy, foggy effect inside of my bezel. And then I just put some more mica and right now I'm actually going to pour ice resin on it. Um, awesome. So I mixed my resin and then I'm just going to drizzle it in because I've already filled part of this bezel with resin so it doesn't need that much now. I'm just covering this next layer. And you can do that. You can layer things up within it so it gives this dimensional effect. It makes things look like they're floating. So I this really is like a, that. Thanks. This is going to be a Halloween one because I usually don't get dressed up for Halloween so I thought well maybe I'll make a necklace. <laughs> Sue just said she ha she needs to get ice resin in her life, Jen. What do you think? I, I think she needs some. Jen, are you there? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just oh. <laughs> I'm like chatting and typing away. I just yeah. told Sue, I know that Sue actually, it's funny because I know that Sue's first kind of foray into making jewelry is um, Sue's, it's the industrial light and chic, industrial chic line that Susan Leonard Casmer has at Michael's. It's exclusive to Michael's. And she's been incorporating it into her art journal pages. And so I am determined that Sue Turchek is going to actually make resin jewelry. And then I just told her, I'm like, Sue, look, you can take your art journal pages and you can seal them with a coat of ice resin and it makes them phenomenal. So I'm just telling Sue that I got to I got to get her hooked up baby because she's going to love it. Yeah. Norma, what does, you know, going to the Emmys and everything it mean for your company? I, I you know, I would love to hear from everyone, you know, what it really means for your company and you know, everything. Well, for us, um, it's a wonderful opportunity, you know, obviously to introduce the product to, you know, celebrities and different people who may necessarily not think about crafting. Uh, I have met some celebrities that love to craft and, you know, they, they love to do artsy stuff like that. But then there's a lot of people who don't. And so, um, you know, I believe like actors are creative people and, you know, I, I think this is a wonderful opportunity as a as a community to um, be able to engage the, the celebrities into something a little bit more creative. You know, crafting is very relaxing. It doesn't matter what I think you're making, if you're making a piece of jewelry or you're scrapbooking or you're, you know, you're painting or whatever medium that you're working in, um, I think it's really... I, I think it's really relaxing and it's a therapeutic way to kind of release from the day or the week's end and just kind of get back into, you know, back in touch with yourself. Um, and I'm sure some of you other artists know what I'm talking about because for me, when I'm feeling overwhelmed or stressed, you know, being in my studio just kind of makes me forget about the whole world, just making something with my hands. So the opportunity for the Emmys for us, it, it'll be a wonderful opportunity to meet people, to branch out, also to spend the day with you know some of our colleagues in the in the business and in the industry, um, and, and you know mostly we're interested in really 
spreading the word about crafting and creating. And not necessarily with, with our product, but with everybody's wonderful creative products, right? So right. like um, Jen said earlier, I think our products all mesh um, really beautifully together. We all have um, a lot to, to offer. And, you know, it's a, it's a great way to just get other people, um, uh, you know, involved with us. And I think having our crafting community follow us backstage to the Emmys is a really fun way to see people... Uh, to see us craft in a different way, right? Because people yeah. get excited about celebrities. I do, so, you know, why not but others? So I think it, it'll be a great experience for all of us. I'm so sorry, Norma. I didn't mean to jump in, but I do want to jump in because what Norma said is really, honey, that is so important. I'm so happy you said what you said because it's like, you know, I'm thrilled that Ice Resin's there. I'm thrilled that Norma Rapp was there. I'm thrilled Jesse James Beads is there. I'm thrilled that Beadalon and John Bead and Spellbinders and all of everybody's there. But really what I'm most thrilled of is I'm thrilled that CHA, Sue Turchek, this is for you, girl, yes. and Andre and CHA, made this happen because none of us would be there if it wasn't for CHA and the umbrella crafting organization working together for crafting DIY in general and I'm like you know what I mean so it's like it to me it's like that's why the you know the cha, the cha swag hashtag rocks and everything it's like I am really really excited about this organization organization and I thank them for the opportunity and I'm sure Norma does too and Jesse James and everybody else right Norma yeah absolutely I mean I'm, like I said I'm so grateful to be a part of this wonderful community and CHA has been so amazing to us you know and the fact that our partners you know at Walnut Hollow were also super on board because for us it was kinda like just a few weeks ago that we found out we were actually gonna do this and you know we just launched Chris Tyler so it's just a brand new opportunity and actually this is the first time that Chris Tyler will be out there for people to see and demo and all that because we haven't launched at a show yet ah. so it's, it's ultra exciting yeah so so with that being said you know even a bigger shout out to CHA and Sue and everybody involved and you know everybody who's making this happen and also what I love is that CHA is stepping outside of the creative community who already is involved with us but that they're realizing that you know creativeness is across the board in all different ages and sizes and celebrities and um, you know everybody's so into you know especially with the holidays coming up guys you'll agree with me into that homemade special something you know we all want to feel like somebody took that little extra two minutes to make us feel special to you know, it's, it could be either in the way you wrap, the, uh, wrap a gift, it can be as simple as, you know, adding a homemade card to a gift, but it's all about that special homemade kind of that little added touch that somebody thought just a little bit more about me to take the time to do this special thing for me. And that's what I love about creating is that when somebody opens um, or you, you gift somebody or share with somebody or trade somebody your work you're actually giving them a little part of you and I think that that's what people love about DIY yeah you know, I don't know do you guys agree with that I mean, that's just yeah. kind of my, my view on it I think it's always you know it's something new and it, every DIY project it's always something different nothing's ever necessarily perfect but it's so different and I'm always happy with it you know it's not you know perfect but it's to a point where you won't ever find it anywhere else. That's that's what I find it so neat. You know, I could go. Um, Jennifer sells kits at her Etsy shop. If you get a kit, you know, not every person's go do anything almost the same. It's everyone's gonna be so different and express themselves with you know every product. And I think that's what's really cool. You know, with social media, you can share. And, you know interact with everyone and you can get inspired from everyone and I know when I attend CHAs and different trade shows and different events that I get inspired from seeing everyone else's hard work you know it took you five years to get to market that inspires me say I want to come out with a product you know two years from now that you know put in that effort and you know work for it yeah I really like that and Sarah you know what does it mean for Jesse James Beads that well, you're you know, really, all of this that what we're doing right now, just being involved in the community and getting to know more people that are in our industry, is really incredible. Um, we've been around, we've been doing CHA for a long time. Um, Jesse James Bees is also the same company as Dress It Up Buttons. So that's something that's, um, 
Yeah, you guys, I do know. <laughs> I know the Press Cup Buttons. I've known you guys a long time. Awesome. Yeah, all right, good. <laughs> but um, the beads, the, our bead company has really grown a lot in the past, I guess, um, two years now. So being able to be involved with the jewelry making part of the community, I've got my dog hanging out here too with us. Um, but being able to be involved with the jewelry making community and getting to know more people in the industry is really, really awesome for us. I feel like we're connecting more with our fans and friends and just finding out more and learning every day. Um, and like you were saying before, the inspiration of just seeing other fellow um, companies that have risen up and that are, are doing really well and just seeing the projects that people create, it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's just been a, it's an inspiring experience. Well, thank you so much. Now it's time for a giveaway for everyone watching that is live. If you're watching this recorded, it's already been giveaway. But for everyone that's watching live with us, you can enter to win a giveaway. Let me link to the official rules of this giveaway for us real quick. So I want to show you guys something while Tanner's finding that link. So okay. Norma wanted to know if you can use ice resin to glue the crystals for Chris Tyler. And all I'm doing is like taking the little popsicle stick and spreading the ice resin. And this is a, a bezel that's already dry. So I just spread the ice resin and then use the crystaller to add the crystals. So it's a little uh -huh. hard. I mean, I'm trying to do this mid-air. It's easier on my table. I can get them exactly where I want them. But then it, it will glue it on, and it will totally blend. It's not going to have, like, a line or anything. There's going to be no glue residue. Right, and and when it dries, uh, they'll never those crystals will never go anywhere. Norma, they will stay forever. Resin is glue, as like it's you know. Resin is you, amazing. You do have to you do have to wait. You know what I mean? You gotta wait for it to dry that whole time. But once you wait for it to dry, dry, it's not going anywhere. That's awesome because you know sometimes with adhesives they yellow right. after time. So. Jen, I think I found a new adhesive for I'm my, telling you, girl, it will project. never fade, never yellow. It will be amazing, I know. So, Okay, I'm going to have to try to do it on some stilettos and see how they turn. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll use the resin for adhesive. Okay, guys, so for the giveaway, I want you all to list at least one product used in today's show, and we are going to cut off uh, submissions at 10.55 Pacific Standard Time, and we'll randomly choose one of you all to win a super big prize pack thanks to Ice Resin, and we will announce that here. So you all name at least one product used in today's show, by 10.55 Pacific Standard Time, 1.55 uh, Eastern Time. So and let's not say time. ice resin, okay, because we're, we're sponsoring yeah. the, the package, so it has to be something besides us. So this will oh. be in the, in the chat yeah. section on the side of the screen. If you guys look to the right, in the chat section, you can put your answers there. Awesome. Cool. So how's everybody's crafts coming while I'm, everybody gets in? I'm still crafting, still crafting. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Look what I did. I don't know if you guys saw. Jen, can is do I still have the thing on me, my video? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So remember I was showing you guys earlier. Oh, wait. Let me go back to me. I'm just watching Jen's hands. Okay. Now let me go back to me. I don't want to watch Jennifer anymore. I've been watching <laughs> Jennifer craft for the last 20 minutes. Okay. So... Here's the thing I want to go back. Remember that one that I told you had the little buttons? It's our hobnail. So it was cute. It was fine with the buttons on it, but I was like, ah, it needs a little extra so something, something. So I just added some more crystallers on there, and I'm telling you, I almost like it too much. I don't want to give it away to the Emmys, but, you know, I'll give it to the celebs. You know, <laughs> they can have it. So, so where is everybody uh, working at today? I know that some of you all have mentioned you're at your studio. Some of you are outside today. I'm actually just at, like, the behind. This is where I film my video tutorials. This is just, like, a wall. And this is my craft area, which you can't see because it's a mess. But I would love to hear, you know, where you all are crafting at. I think Norma is your studio in your garage. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it is. Um, my studio's in my garage. I'll give you guys a 360, even though it's super... Um, dirty and just crazy nutty crazy in here but so I have a three car garage so in front of me I'm gonna turn around really quick so you guys can see that um, that back there is the hubby's garage <laughs> and then if you turn it around in here is Norma's 
garage, which is like <laughs> Norma's studio slash garage, which is really cool because you don't really see it when you first walk into the garage. And then you have to kind of turn this corner here, coming out. So if you turn the corner, then you walk into this little space, which is really surprising for all of my guests to come over because they're like, where do you work? Where's your space? Where's that space? And so then we come out and they don't see it initially and then we turn the corner and it's the space here. So like on this wall, I have all my some of my picture frames and designs that I created earlier on, which I'm going to have a lot of fun with the resin spreading it all over. So I'll be posting some projects on how I'm using the resin. I was putting it on paper. So um, as you can see, like I have all kinds of trinkets and things that I keep. And I like to keep things in jars because since I am out here and there's a door to the um, backyard, it, it'll get dusty in here sometimes. So it's important to keep all my products and stuff clean. So then um, I behind me here, I have this giant bookcase, if you guys can see that. Yeah. So we kind of keep all kinds of fun supplies and stuff there. And then there's another working table over there that nobody can really work on because it's a mess. But it's a working studio, right? Yeah, and you get natural lighting. I'm a little jealous of your lighting because you live in L.A. and it's always so bright there. I'm a little jealous, but that's okay. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons why we painted it like a pale, pale yellow in here, so that the lighting would be better, um, and it would feel a little bit warmer. Um, but yeah, so then right now we've been working on projects and blogging and all kinds of things and the Emmys, so um, it's a mess in here. But it's anyway, cool. I'm glad. This is my little... So everybody that's day. watching live, don't forget to put in your questions for a product that's been mentioned in today's show so you can be entered to win an awesome giveaway from... Come on, guys. Get them in. It's a cool giveaway. It's a cool one. Yeah, very cool. Very excited. And so you have about three more minutes. I mean, you can look back, and I think there's been mentioned... You can look at there's some names of people on here, because I know the products are names on here, and I think maybe go up to the chat. Maybe we'll chat about it right now. Who knows? <laughs> so, this is Jennifer Priest. I'm going to show you guys what my space looks like. It's kind of crazy. Um, but I wanted to show you guys where I work, too. So I have, like, stamps and a little die-cut station... And then this is one of those IKEA like expedite shelves, so it's full of like all the products for companies I'm working with right now. Um, and then if you look the other way, I have my work tables, and so you can actually see my laptop and where I'm working. Um, this is where I do kits and stuff, and then I have these IKEA things here full of uh, all kinds of goodies. And then my office is over there, so that's where I actually like sit on the computer and do all of my work and you can see I have like shipping stuff over there so just wanted to share. So where where is that in your house? Um, this if you turn that door right there that's my front door. Oh wow. Oh, I'm working here that's my front door this is the window like there's the street to the, the this is what everybody sees when they walk in it's, it's a little <laughs> interesting when people come over. That's awesome, though. Uh, mine's just down in a basement that nobody ever sees. <laughs> oh, that's cool, because then you don't have to explain. Like People are like, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Joe, I haven't heard from you lately. What, how, how's, where are you creating at today? Is she muted? Aw. No, did you talk? Say something. Wait, there, I'm here. Yay! Where are you okay. Um, I have a workbench in the corner of my family room that's just devoted to my mess. Um, I oh, she got muted again. Yeah. No. Nope. Shouldn't be. Whoa, why is that thing falling over? She should be on. Nope. No. Yeah. Hmm. Go, Joe. Um, Go, Joe. Yeah. I'm here. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Um, I have a workbench in the corner of my family room that I create my mess at. And I work on these mannequins behind me here. I pin my pieces as I'm working so I can step back and look at them. My mess does spill over onto the bar and sometimes the dining room table. 
but I I like having my own space that I can leave things and walk away and come back whenever and pick up where I left off. That's awesome. I, I love it. Now, uh, Jen, I don't know if you mentioned earlier in the show, but where are you at today? I'm actually in my studio, so I have I have about a 250 square foot working studio. It's attached to our house, but you have to go through the garage to get to my studio. So it's not really the garage. The house we're living in was two houses put together, so this used to be the living room area of the other house. So I have it. Um, as you can see, I did clean off my table, but I worked on it for 45 minutes and before the event, and that's as close as I could get. Um, I really can't give you a 360-degree view because my, um, my video camera is on my computer. But this is where I work every day. And, um, so, and in my studio, I have a table here that you can see. That's kind of my mixed media table. It's where I do my painting. It's where I do any of my non-jewelry things. And then over on the right-hand side, I have a two-foot long by ten foot, two-foot wide by ten-foot long table that I actually got from um, the Air Force Base. They were having a, a sale at the Air Force Base in Arizona. And it was what they used to use maps. They would roll their maps out on this table. So I got this table for 25 bucks at one of those, uh, you know, those, um, you know, what do they call those things? Like when, surplus? Yeah, yeah, surplus. So it was a yeah. surplus sale. So I got this 10-foot long table, and that's where I have all of my jewelry. So I've got my pickle pot. I've got my um, tumbler. I've got all my metal working over there. And then I also have a bench. My jeweler's bench is a butcher block table from Ikea that I have set up. And then I stand at that. And that's where I do all of my forging and my torching and all of my jewelry work there. So I really I have, have those windows back there just to yeah, light windows, everything up. It's all natural light. Unfortunately, that's what's causing me to have such a bad glare. Oh, it's thing. cool. But, um, but it's all natural light, and that's my backyard, and I have all of that, and I also have overhead lights. But my studio is a disaster right now. I have had just projects one after the other and publishing one after the other, and I haven't had a chance to pick up in between. So I'm hoping that after the Emmys, crafting with the Emmys, hashtag, um, that we'll, I'll be able to come in, hide for a day, and truly clean my studio because I can barely work in here anymore. Well, I love it. And being in a basement, I'm a person that always wants good lighting. And, you know, I, I bought these studio lights, so it might look like, you know, I look very bright, but my room's really yellow without these lights, and there's no natural lighting. So it really, I like to get outside and, you know, do DIY projects because down here it's just, like, not a good vibe. So I really like the studio lights. It gives it that really cool feel of a, you know, natural lighting from outside. And living in Tennessee... It's cloudy a lot here, so it's cloudy and rainy here, so, you know, you just don't have that natural lighting out in, like, the West Coast, but we get to announce the giveaway winner Yay. right now. Yay. After I went on random.org, the winner actually uh, typed in right at the last minute, Robin, and I don't know how to pronounce her last name, one with her entry used it called the said the Chris Tyler. really excited, so if you can, Yay. I believe... Congrats! That's yeah. awesome. Robin does a lot of work with Charity Wings too. So oh, yeah, exciting. She she donates a lot of time for crafting for charities. That is awesome. So I'm sure. Awesome. What, where does she need to email you, Jen? Who does she need to email? Uh, Jennifer P at iceresin.com. Okay. So Jennifer P at iceresin.com. And what did she win, Jennifer? A Emmy swag bag. So Yay! Yay! she's winning one of the actual swag bags that we're giving to the celebrities. Exactly every single thing that we are passing out and giving to the celebrities is what's going to be um, what she's going to win. So you know what I mean? And I can tell you it is full. Susan's brand new book, Resin Alchemy, <laughs> my books, DVDs. Ice resin, bezels, ribbon. I mean, it is it is a very very cool swag bag. So feel like a star, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> and Jennifer uh, Priest is your email, Jennifer P at iceresin.com. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the chat box for her. So that is in there. You can just email her and let her know all your 
awesome information. So we're at, it's now 2 o'clock here on the East Coast, 11, I believe, on the West Coast. Thank you all for joining us for our show today. I've had an extremely fun time chatting with all these designers and inventors. I hope you all have two. Is there anything anybody else would like to say? I just want to say, Tanner, you're amazing. Like, Absolutely. you are so professional. You got this down. I cannot wait that someday when you're a celebrity at the Emmys yourself, I'm going to say, you know what? He moderated our chat. So, <laughs> job, Tanner. Yay. Good job. Well, thank you Get all so much. That. And don't forget to use the hashtag crafting the Emmys. C H A hashtag crafting the Emmys, hashtag uh, CHA swag, and hashtag ice resin to follow the ice queen to the Emmys. And to follow all these other awesome companies to the Emmys as well. Thank so you. thank you all for joining us, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye, Bye. everybody. See you Bye. on the red carpet. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. See us on the Emmys. Ice resin. Yeah. Bye. I'll finish it.